comment one in chat if you think Aurora teasing I am uh, and then she gets cut off versus I am recovery atomic I think Aurora's tease was more hype than the recovery atomic itself not that recovery recovery atomic wasn't hype it serves a totally different purpose so when Aurora came out of nowhere possesses clear because they have the progenitor vampire gene she just shows up and she teases I am atomic bro I was fucking losing it now we're on to New York everybody's just been yapping about John Smith John Smith who was this John Smith let's figure out today's reaction are they looting trains? They're bandits. Yo, where's the stylish bandit slayer? Hey, here comes some fan service. Did you have to do that? I just feel bad about fan service when it's like this, man. Yo, someone help these girls out. Roku, 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 where are you at? Oriana. Huh? Wait, the voice acting. Jeez, the shades? Alpha. Oh shit, it's Alpha and the unnamed. Oh! That's a. Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Omega and Kai? Nui, I think? Shadow Garden. <laughs> Alpha is so cool. You notice? Every time Alpha shows up, there's such a focus on her blonde hair. Usually when she shows up, a blonde hair just like starts showing line by line, hair strand by strand. It's such a cool scene. We're just taking out a bunch of random underworld bandits related to cults. The war. War? I'm down. Poe. What is it? What is a skeleton, Poe? Fashion. Guys. The clothes does not make the man. The man makes the clothes. All this designer brand shit doesn't matter, bro. Eita made the design? This is like Shadow Garden apparel? Oh shit. Fake. It's fake. It's fake. They're wearing fake! Bro. This is not Gucci. This is Bucci, man. What is that? What's underneath? I can't read Moon Runes. <laughs> Feels bad, man. It's like when Nike is like nice, you know? Guys, it's not about the clothing, but. Yo, Sid's, Sid's shirt looks real nice, though. Yo, I, honestly, Sid's fit is actually pretty good. But we reform the culture here through our clothing, right? They're wearing modern, like, business casual clothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we started selling lingerie. Now it's just, like, business casual, too. Isn't that the John Smith mask we saw in the trailer? So obviously, Sid is John Smith, right? That's not a secret. All right, super elite secret agent, John Smith. Reminds me of, uh, I forgot his name for the Ton Konosuba, one of the Demon Legion commanders that joined us. He was really cool. Yukime? My dear Shadow. Yukime continues. I am John Smith now. <laughs> the most generic American name, John Smith. But he joined Yukime's faction? I mean, we joined the Lala City just for money. Basically, two corporations going head to head. And then we come in to kill Steel when those two just blow themselves up. Oh? Okay, they're hyping up a swordsman! Getan, the sword devil. He's probably trash. Come on, he's probably a jobber, man, but beast folk. You can we got a scar from Getan? Revenge. Okay, this guy's actually pretty decent then. Yeah, this piano soundtrack goes hard. I want to think that Epsilon's the one playing it. My dear, John Smith. Shadow Garden will. So cool. Jesus. Another one. <laughs> Skeleton and Poe, they're just the best gag characters. These characters look a little CGI, even though they're not even moving. So, Mitsugoshi is our brand? He keeps repeating it. The moon is red. And then rebuild it up again. They're actually going to the economics of this whole, I don't know, it's the system, right? All the different currency works, that's kind of interesting. So, all that random shit you said about the credit economy, they learned it as kids and now they're basically Im implementing it in the real world. 
It's pretty fucking impressive. All I know about stonks, right? Econ e econ economy. Money. I learned from Maple Story, okay? Remember, it's buy high, sell low. That's right, you heard me right. Buy high, sell low, guys. We should put our own face on there. We should put like one of each Shadow Garden girl on there, man. Super elite agents. That is some more! <laughs> Super elite agent. Alright, we're robbing them. <laughs> Skellum poor actually is so funny. I love them. And Quentin and Goldie are basically Skellum Poe time skipped. I love how these two only like converse in trains. True. These money, it's just paper, right? But what's the value of the paper? Usually it's its weight in gold, but basically money is like, money is pretty much a social construct. It's, it's worth as much as you put faith into it. You're going to just hyper inflate the shit out of this economy, man. But what if that original 10,000 was invested into other assets to go up, right? That's what the banks do. You fucking give the bank your money. You know what the bank does with your money? They fucking invest into different things that will rise up. This is confusing, man. The like supply and demand economy, like, this shit's pretty confusing. And what happens when it's obscured? Basically, this is just a Ponzi scheme. It's just a Ponzi scheme, dude. What I say, con artist. Ponzi scheme. <laughs> You're talking to him. It depends how much faith or belief you have in the money. One is more modern? Is the watermark, the trademark, you know, define it? Yeah. Therefore, it's less in value? It's older. It's older. The older bill is easy to fake it. Basically, just copy the money and just make a bunch of shitload of fake money. And then what? <laughs> you didn't really think about that, huh? He's, he's crying. No, oh, he's getting serious? What, what, what? John? Mr. John, what are you doing? I mean, Yukimi is bringing up good points. What? I'm not following, what? Sure. Fake money circulated? But? That sounds like bad news, but? And then? All value of money will be lost. Yukime is misunderstanding and thinking John Smith is a genius right now. Okay. It's just a bigger scam. No, you are an amazing scam artist. I know Mr. John Smith was just worried, but sure, let's go with that plan. Uh -huh. <laughs> Is there one more step to it? I don't know. <laughs> Yukimi is like... <laughs> Yukimi is taking us so seriously. <laughs> Subarashi. I swear to God, this is a real scene. That girl has been there the entire time. This girl right here. Who is she? Sono Torida. Just one of Yukimi's girls. Okay. No, he wasn't. He truly wasn't. <laughs> but the misunderstanding is pretty much the best part about the show. Everybody just thinks Shadow is a fucking genius, even though he has no idea what he's doing. Oh, that was pretty cool how he disappeared behind the train. Uh, are we killing more bandits? What the fuck? And instantly eating. Someone's barking. Who's barking? Delta follows around and barks on the side. Oh my god. You guys have pets? What is she not? I was gonna say, what is she wearing? And then I said, what is she not wearing? Br you ever have like pets, dogs? You know, you're eating dinner and they're just always on the side, just looking at you, just like. <laughs> A lot of Delta fan service today. 
Delta doesn't approve. Oh my god. Jesus! That's a lot of booba, dude. That's a lot of thigh. That's a lot of booba. I should focus on the subtitles. Focus on the subtitles. Hunter, you can kind of see her up. <gasps> That's a lot of get, dude. Holy! Boom, left, right, left, right. Two full moons. Look at them cheeks, dude. Look at them cheeks. Look. Oh my, I still see two moons right here. Focus on the subtitles. Stylish bandit slayer. Let's go. Let's go on a little date with Delta. Come on. I think this is the most dialogue Delta's actually had. You can see all her upper titties right here. You can still see them titties. All right, this is the uh, this is the under titties from that angle because she's bending up. Anyways, more ass. Aww. Please? Please? John was the name of his pet in his past life? That's a huge ass dildo this guy has on the right side there. I just realized, he just said Yotsuba. Yotsuba, you know, Mahoka. Yotsuba family. They're called Clovers? Oh, interesting. I never knew what it actually meant. Whenever I see the underground like this, what I remember? Episode 5, Season 1, versus Zenon Griffey, showing him the true power of the Almighty. Delta is killing them, bro. At least she's getting this one on one date. No, it's Delta. No, it's Delta. Actually, they look very familiar. Like the marks, the marks right here, they look very familiar, actually. After that? Big bro really? Her original name is Sara? That hunted her? Well, she was possessed, but still dead. Jesus. Would she kill her own big bro? She would? Wow. 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 Oh. That's her hair. That's her hair. That's her tail. That's her tail. I, 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 uh, she has tail blade? Oh, okay. Over a thousand. There's more deltas. There's a lot more deltas. Oh. <laughs> That's so savage. Oh, come on. She has some intelligence, right? Right? She's cute. It's fine. Delta makes up for it because she's cute. Again, more titties, but this is the underboob, remember, guys, because of the ankle. Because Delta's going like this, it's the underboob you're seeing right now. I mean, we already have 100 women in Shadow Garden. This is nice to have more Delta scenes because we hardly ever get to see dialogue from her. Again, giant dildo on the side there. What's that pendant? Is it a watch or a pendant? Some kind of mark. I think that's the Cult of Diabolos mark, right? This is another beastful. What if this guy is Delta's dad? Because it's another beast, man. And we just talked about Delta's family. Is this dad? Maybe this is a scar that Yukimi gave him. That's Delta's dad, maybe? This is a little bit more of a setup episode. Not every episode can be bangers, but we still got the introduction of John Smith. Yukime and John Smith are basically just faking money to profit off of this. And Delta fan service. Holy shit, that was a lot of booba and ass. And I'm glad that Shadow actually gave Delta a one on one bandit hunting session, even though Shadow was just looting the entire time. And Delta's family. Big bro is already dead because he's a weak bro. But at the end there, get hunt. Is that Delta's dad? Why would they bring up Delta here, show the old the older brother, and mention the dad, and then have Getum be this beast man? That is seemingly like a dog type, right? It looks just like Delta's, I don't know, family, maybe, in my head. But we'll see how it happens. But hey, if you're still here, if you'd enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.